Welcome in How To For You, today I'm going to show you what to do if you take a picture with a not interesting overexposed sky. As you can see here the sky is simply white. In a few simple steps I'm going to show you how to import sky from a different picture. So you can improve your photo before printing it or standing it on your fireplace or before sharing it with your friends. Get your GIMP open to begin with, click Windows and click on Dockable Dialogs and click Layers. You can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus L. Our layer panel is open, drag it to the side of your screen, we'll need it later. Now simply take a nice picture of sky that you took before and drag it to your GIMP panel. Done. If you want, you can improve the appearance of the picture by adjusting curves. Simply click Colors and click Curves. By moving the diagonal line you will get desirable effect. Now it's time to drag our picture with missing sky to the GIMP panel. Picture will appear on top of the first picture. Now click the picture of interest on the layer panel and the menu will appear. Please choose the option add alpha channel. Ready. We can adjust the color on the photo by mm, going to curves again. Remember you simply click colors and click curves. Adjust the line so you get the desired effect. You will have a live preview so finding the right spot should not be a problem. Now from your tool panel on the right choose Fuzzy Select tool and left click anywhere on the white sky. Most of the white sky will be selected. Now it's time to cut it out. Press Ctrl plus X and the white sky is gone. And as you can see we already have nice blue sky in the background. Unfortunately we got a few branches of trees or rather old sticks preventing the Fuzzy Select tool to cut out the whole white sky properly. We will have to reapply the tool and by pressing shift and clicking on the picture we will select most of the white sky. Now we just press Ctrl X and most of the sky is gone. As you can see the fuzzy select tool is not perfect. It selected a bit of our hammer so we'll have to correct it manually by using clone tool. Simply click clone tool and press Ctrl plus left mouse key to select the area you want to clone. Now by pressing the left mouse key you will be able to clone the desired area onto the missing part of the hammer. Done! I'm going to speed up the process a bit as it is quite boring, using the um, cloning tool is boring indeed. But um, in just few minutes, as you can see, the hammer reappears as it should and now it's time to deal with um, other bits and pieces on the picture. As you can see, the fuzzy selection tool did not cut out properly um, some areas of the roof, so we are going to improve it with the cloning tool. And as I said before, press the control key to uh, take your sample, control key plus left mouse key. Uh, so we'll take the gray sample of the building and we are going to adjust the size of the cloning tool so we could cover the area of interest. And again in just few minutes we're going to get a effect that we really want. Now it's time to deal with the tree branches and the sticks. And they are going to be the most challenging part of today's tutorial because uh, it is simply loads of work with the cloning tool. But we want the picture to look um, good enough. So the idea is to cut out all the white pieces. Um, the white pieces of the white sky that we had in the very back. And um, the idea is you have to switch between the layers, so you simply click on the left in the layer panel and you have to choose the picture with the sky to take the sample um, with the appropriate color and um, you can sample the tree branches in, in below the sky as well and um, just manually paint the trees, that's it. It's going to take quite a bit so I'm going to speed up the video. Uh, but the technique is exactly the same, you just press Ctrl key plus your left mouse button and then just uh, apply the color with the left mouse button. As the tree is not everything, we have to still improve um, the buildings as well because they haven't been cut out perfectly as well, so there is a tiny bit of the white sky left at the edges of the buildings. So we're going to use the same technique, we have to switch to the picture in the back, the picture of the sky, we have to sample it by clicking Ctrl and left mouse key and then apply the blue sky at the white edges of the buildings um, uh, afterwards, pressing your left mouse button key. You can always sample the buildings themselves and cover the wh white areas with the grey from the buildings or any other objects in the, in the foreground of your picture. And more or less that's it, the picture is almost ready, just um, a few more bits and pieces. 
and we are ready for printing or sharing the picture. And this is how the picture looks like at the very end. You can see that it's much, much better than it used to be. But I think we are going to do um, another small adjustment. As you know, we, none, all of the, none all of us has a beautiful smile. As you can see a friend of mine here. Um, we are going to improve his smile a bit as well by whitening his teeth. You know that whitening teeth is not very healthy for them and is expensive in the same time and we are going to do it for free. Just choose the brush tool and choose your, your color. Choose of course white, well unless you want to have black teeth and apply it gently on the teeth and you're going to see Hollywood smile on the face of your friend or your own face. There is nothing complicated about using your brush tool, just apply it gently by pressing the left mouse button key, adjust the size of the brush and after a few minutes of hard manual labor you're going to see brilliant effects. As soon as we are done with the Hollywood smile, we are to export the picture from GIMP and just here admire the brilliant effect, Hollywood smile, blue skies and now as I said time to export the picture so just go to file and export choose the name for the file and the extension that you want to save it with export with 100% quality and this is the final product I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe, comment, like and see you next time